sitting crisscross applesauce where you can separate the ankles to the, allow the knees to drop open, further opening that hip space deeper. Palms can be up to the sky to receive or pointed down for grounding. We're just gonna start to come into our rhythm, our uh, Zen breath, deep inhales and exhales in and out through the nose, practicing that Ujjayi breath. shoulders into our warm-up. As you inhale, pull the shoulders up to the ears. As you exhale, pull the shoulder blades together, pulling the shoulders back and then down. Roll them 
forward. Inhale up to the ears. Exhale, pull them back and down. We're going to take a few cycles here. Just flowing in that rhythm of our breath. shoulder blades together. Exhale, coming back to the bottom. As you inhale, this time we're going to go the opposite way, coming up the front. I'm sorry, coming up the back. Inhale, bringing the shoulders up to the ears. Forward as you exhale, pulling them down. Inhale, bringing them up from behind. Pulling them forward as you exhale. out wide shoulder height palms up to the sky as you exhale bend the elbows touching the shoulders if this is difficult for you and you can't go all the way down that's okay we're gonna start flowing with breath we're gonna inhale touch the elbows together and roll the wrists behind the ears to touch and exhale rounding it out so we're making giant circles here inhale elbows touch then the wrists Squeeze the shoulder blades together. And find that rhythm of breath. Two more cycles here. Starting to warm up that core, bringing in the side body. Inhale, lengthening, lifting here. And coming back to the bottom. Inhale to open the arms and reach. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, opening the arms wide. Exhale, bend the elbows, touching the shoulders. We're going to take our circles back the other way. Inhale, pulling the shoulders together, wrists to touch. Exhale, elbows and drop them down. Inhale. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Exhale, hands to the heart. We're going to 
start to wake up the legs now. So we can go ahead and kick our heels out, coming into staff pose or dandasana. Sitting up nice and tall, staying engaged here, engaging that core, lifting the chest, lifting the crown of the head. And we'll take a few seconds here to just sort of uh, warm up the feet, pointing and flexing, maybe wiggling the toes and rounding the ankles. Pushing through the heels, keeping the thighs engaged. If this is a lot for you, you can assist yourself creating little tints with your fingertips to help lift the chest. Keep that back straight, or you can point your fingers behind you to open the chest space. And on your next inhale, we're going to reach. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Hinge up the hips. Allow the neck to drop, chin to the chest. Exhale, all the excess air out of the belly. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Leading with the chest, pull the shoulders back as you exhale. Hinge forward here. We're giving a nice stretch to the hamstrings, so keep that spine straight, creating a V here. And on your next inhale, reach. Exhale, hands to the heart. Bringing the right leg in. For beginners, you can stay inside the knee or to enhance the stretch, you can cross it over that left knee. Again, move any extra cushion we have here so we're really grounding in that tailbone. Sitting up nice and tall, shoulders back. Pushing through the heel, keeping the left leg fully engaged. Inhale to reach. Exhale, twist to the right, bringing the left elbow outside the right knee and the right hand right behind the spine. Again, to assist your spine and sit you up nice and tall. Inhale, lengthening, lifting the chest. And as you exhale, twist. Breathe here, Just releasing any resistance to really deepen into this pose. On your next inhale, release your twist and reach. As you exhale, bring hands to the heart and release the right foot out. Inhale to reach, bringing the left foot in. If you were crossed over, you can be crossed over. And as you exhale, twist to the left again, bringing that right hand outside the elbow, the left hand right behind the tailbone to assist your twist. Breathe here. Forcing all the excess air out of the belly as you exhale, creating more space so you can twist a little bit deeper here. Really wringing out those organs. On your next inhale, release your twist and reach. As you exhale, bring hands to the heart and extend the left leg out. Inhale, reach. Lengthen through that side body. Exhale, hinge forward, fold. Drop the chin to the chest and let the neck rest. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale. Create that V, leading with the chest. So right when you feel like you're gonna start curving, that's about where you wanna stop and just breathe into this space here, deepening as you exhale. our palms to the mat, shift our hips forward and allow our soles of the feet to hit the mat, prepping for our bent bridge pose. We're going to allow the body to roll back. Palms uh, pushing into the mat as you inhale and lift the hips high to the sky. Inhale, engaging the ribs, really pull the chest towards the chin. So it's not all on the thighs that we're forcing the hips up. We're really pulling the chest towards the chin too, really giving a nice arch here in our bridge. Take a few cycles of breath here. If you can tuck the shoulders beneath you and interlace the fingertips, creating a bind here. 
Inhale to pull those fingers towards your heels. Exhale, grounding and lifting the hips. On your next exhale, releasing your bind and slowly rolling down the spine, bone by bone by bone, pushing each vertebrae into your mat, almost as if you're realigning your spine as you roll back down. Inhale, lift the hips. We're going to flow with breath here. Exhale. Bone by bone by bone. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. One more cycle here. Inhale, lifting the tailbone. Rolling up the spine till the chest reaches the chin. And then exhale to lower. On your next inhale, bring the knees into the chest for a nice little yogi hug and sway from side to side. On your next exhale, push through the heels, grabbing the big toe with your first two fingers and thumb. As you exhale, bend the knees out to the side body, up towards the armpits for your happy baby. And sway from side to side. Take some compression here in the hips and releasing any tension in that low back. If you want to step up this asana a bit, you can kick through the heels. Inhale to open into a wide-legged baby. Get a nice, strong stretch here. You can always use a um, straps, if you can't reach the toes, or take a micro bend in the knee. Breathe here. On your next exhale, release your bind, bending the knees, and bringing them into the chest. Exhale, crossing at the ankles. We're going to grab the outer edges of the feet. As you inhale, pull the toes, really stretching out the tops of the feet. As you exhale, push through the heels, adding some compression there. Stabilizing, strengthening the joints, waking up the feet. On your next exhale, release and cross the other way. Inhale, pulling the tops of the feet towards the body and then as you exhale push the heels just get a nice little stretch here on your next exhale releasing the heels and inhale roll rock or roll as much as you need to get a nice little massage here maybe one or two times and then rest here in your half boat you start to really build up some core energy Inhale, open into full boat. Exhale to half. Flow with breath here. Inhale, open. Exhale. One more time here, nice and strong. Exhale, allow the soles of the feet to hit the mat and roll for bridge pose. Grounding the heels into the mat. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. One more time here in our bridge flow. Lifting as high as you can, maybe holding here at the top of your breath. Exhale, releasing bone by bone by bone. Inhale, hug the knees into the chest and rock and roll. Coming back into your half boat. And warm it up again. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. If you feel some shaking here, that's your body requesting more energy, so pull it in. Breathe in that prana. One more time here, nice and strong. Exhale, 
exhale, release the soles of the feet to the mat. Inhale, shifting your hips over to one side and coming into our tabletop position. In our tabletop position, your wrists and elbows are gonna be aligned with the shoulders, knees in alignment below the hips. If you don't feel like you're actually in your proper alignment, you can always start with hands on knees, aligning your hips over your knees, and then hinging at the hips to find your, your tabletop here. We're gonna move into our chakra basana flow, our cat and cow. So as you inhale, drop the belly, lift the tail, roll the shoulders, and lift the chin. Inhale here. Exhale, push into the mat, rounding, rounding and pushing through the back of the neck, tucking the tail, forcing all the excess air out. Inhale into your cow. If you feel a lot of tightness here in the ribs, breathe deeper, create space here. As you exhale, round it out. Let the neck drop out. Find that flow and that rhythm of breath. cycle here. And then coming back to our neutral spines. We're going to open our shoulders a bit here. Inhale, taking the left hand all the way up to the sky. As you exhale, interlace the hand through, resting down on the shoulder. Option to take the right hand all the way over the top of your mat. And you can stay here. Just apply a slight pressure, maybe tucking the toes and rolling on that shoulder. Really opening up that space here, using our body as pressure. On your next inhale, take that right hand all the way up to the sky. And as you exhale, bend the elbow, bringing it behind the back in a bind, opening the right shoulder as we add slight pressure to the left shoulder here. On your next inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, bringing the right hand back to the face, pushing into the mat as you inhale, and reach the left hand all the way back up to the sky. Exhale, back to your tabletop position. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more cycle here. And then coming back to our neutral tabletop position, moving into our shoulder press on the right. Inhale, lifting the right hand high to the sky. Exhale, looping it through here and resting down on that shoulder. You can stay here or you can really add some extra movements, taking that left hand all the way over to the top of the mat. You can even take the left toes all the way out to the fingertips and ground the heel down. Giving you a really deep stretch and a lot of pressure here. Breathing here, exhaling to release any tension. On your next inhale, take that left hand high to the sky. Exhale, bending the elbow bringing the left hand behind the back, creating a bind here, opening that shoulder. Pull, as you pull that shoulder open to the sky, adding a slight bit more pressure here into the left, the right one. We'll take one more cycle of breath here in our shoulder press. Inhale to reach high to the sky. Exhale, bringing the hand back to the face and bringing the knee back to back to center. As you inhale, push into the mat, bringing the left right hand all the way up to the sky. Exhale, coming back to tabletop position. Inhale into your cat. And exhale into your cat. Position. We're going to 
shift over now to our other hips, our other side of the hips, bringing us back to Dandasana, back pose. Again, sitting up nice and tall here, staying fully engaged, lifting the chest and the core. Inhale to reach. Exhale, forward fold. Let the chin drop to the chest. Lengthen the spine, opening, rolling those shoulders back. Exhale, leading with the chest here, creating that V. Inhale to lift and reach. Exhale, hands to the heart. Bring our hands to the mat, shifting our, our hips forward and bringing the soles of the feet to the mat. Exhale and allow the body to roll back down into a supine position. Inhale, hug the knees into the chest and sway from side to side. Inhale, give them a tight squeeze here. As you exhale, extend the left leg out. Inhale, take the right hand all the way out to the side and look to the right. Palms up to the sky so that we're not gripping. If you do feel better rolling that shoulder down, you're free to do so. Inhale, hug that knee into your chest. As you exhale, you're going to pull that right knee all the way over and cross the left hip. So you want to keep those shoulders grounded on your mat. So if this one starts to lift, you've twisted too far. And you can rest those toes on your knee, on your shin. Or on the ground, or on a block, or some books, or this chair. Really wherever we find best to deepen into this twist. On your next inhale, bring both knees back into the chest. Nice little yogi hug here. As you exhale, send the left leg out. Bring I'm sorry, bringing the left arm out to the side and our gaze comes to the left. It's not, that's not right at all. Sorry, we let the right leg out. <laughs> left arm out to the side and our gaze comes to the neck left. Inhale, pulling that left knee into the chest. As you exhale, twist, bringing that right knee all the way over. Again, keep both shoulders grounded here. heels up to the sky, grabbing the big toe with your first two fingers and thumb. As you exhale, open the knees up to the side body and sway from side to side. On your next exhale, bring the heels and toes to touch and allow the ankles to drop towards the mat, bringing you into a reclined butterfly position. Your hands or palms can come to the hip creases. Allow the elbows to drop to the floor. Breathe here. Bring awareness to the body, releasing any work, releasing any tension, releasing the glutes and the thighs, maybe rolling the shoulders back and tucking them behind you, making sure the whole upper back, the bottom uh, of the thoracic spine are flat on the mat. Maybe tucking in the tail or tilting the pelvic bone forward so the low back is flat on the mat just allowing those knees to drop open again you can place pillows blocks books or anything here under the hips and the knees to help um, help you let go and relieve some of that uh, extra tension there for support here in your reclined butterfly position or as you exhale you can straighten out the legs 
Bring the palms down by the sides, palms facing up, so we're not gripping. And finding a restful pose for your final Shavasana. Breathing here. I'm gonna walk you through yoga nidras to release any tension, starting with the toes, relaxing the toes, relaxing the ankles, allowing the heels to feel heavy and sink into your mat, relaxing the knees, maybe taking a micro bend in each knee, allowing the feet to drop open. As you exhale, feel the hips sink heavy and deeper into your mat, relaxing the fingertips and the wrists. Maybe taking a micro bend in the elbows, relaxing the shoulders. As you inhale, feel the back of the ribs sinking heavy into your mat. Maybe tucking the shoulders slightly behind you. As you exhale, releasing any tension here. Relaxing the jaw, the tongue and the eyebrows. As you exhale, release any work, any muscles that might still be tightened up or clenching, bringing our bodies into a full relaxation. Bringing your awareness away from the body and back to the breath. audible ocean sound. between the hardness and the softness. 